All right, good morning all. It is time for me to get back to my Mecca, which is the SEMA show. This is the uh, aftermarket car or aftermarket car parts equipment show. Uh, this is where I found Cox hose reels, um, tool grid, uh, tons and tons of different detailing supplies, all kinds of stuff. And so this is the very first year that I'm able to come here without any agenda. I feel so good. Uh, it's been three years since I've been here. They'd shut it down for a year. I didn't come last year. Uh, and uh, this is the, the first year I'm coming just relaxed. There's no angst. I have no agenda. I'm not looking for any specific product. Uh, and so that means I'm going to find tons and tons of cool stuff. Uh, Tommy's here with me. Uh, we're going to go walk the floor and uh, get through this thing. So we'll do North Hall, Central Hall first. Uh, and we'll probably get through most of it today uh, and then we'll start to repeat and go around you know, multiple, multiple times. We'll see lots of people that are OG fans, OG types. Uh, we'll see lots of vendors that are friends, that have become friends. Um, and uh, yeah, it feels like I'm, I'm home again. I don't like Las Vegas, but I do love the SEMA show. So we're going to go head down there. Because I have an exhibitor pass, I'm going to uh, be we can get in early uh, and I'll start walking quickly uh, through all the stuff. And uh, the, today's the day about getting through it. Uh, and I like to walk every single aisle, every single hall, every single spot. So we'll probably put in you know 10, 12 miles today, uh, and then you know go back and repeat and find some of the things that I missed over the next several days. We'll do the Apex show on Thursday. So I'm excited, I can't wait. Let's go down and uh, start digging in. All right, Tommy, you ready for this? Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna teach Tommy how to do this. I'm gonna, he's gonna start to develop relationships and maybe someday I don't even have to come. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of the plan here. Yeah. So we're gonna go hit the uh, Central Hall, or we'll do North Hall first, that's the plan. So every other year I've had to stay like miles away. This time I booked Stinky Westgate because we're here. One second. Way better. It's a way better way to do this. This is why I don't get my own badge. It's 730, 720, something like that and we can go in. Normally they don't they don't open until uh until later. Until eight o'clock or nine o'clock. Alright, so North Hall will start in the corner. I won't get much video yet, uh, but we'll start in the corner and just start walking the aisles. I think detailing is over there. Way, way over there. So we'll see, I mean, they have more space this year, but this is the first year I've ever seen room. They used to they normally pack this place in. And there's a lot of wasted stuff that we don't need to see, but we're gonna see it anyway, just in case, you never know. Chinese tires, yeah, yeah. we might find something in yeah, there. <laughs> yeah. So this is what it looks like in the morning before anything opens. And then this area, like areas like this won't fill up all that much, but like if you go to the car, like where all the car parts are, that like the central hall is jam packed. Yeah, right. The Evo looks much better than that. Mm -hmm. It is metal at least though, but. Yeah. That's pretty sick looking. I've been looking for something good like this. That I need for my bike rack because I lost mine. And all these, all these winch, all the, uh, the pins are junk. Mm -hmm. Wow, they're 180 bucks. It's right up my alley. <laughs> Coupon, 25 percent off. <laughs> Here's the uh, G80 bumper. I mean, obviously I won't be bagged, but see how they make a whole new front bumper for it? Hmm. They extend this yeah. the front. And they change the size of the grills. The the thing's a little lower. Yeah. I wonder how it looks, how it fits. So we finished uh, North Hall. Detailing's not in North this year. It's in West. I think West is a new hall. There's TJ's car, and uh, we're gonna go do Central now. Central will be good before it gets crowded because that's where everybody will be. All right, we're getting closer to. The nine, all the exhibitors are starting to show up, but we're still able to get in here a little early, find some cool stuff, that's the plan. So this haul doesn't really apply to us other than just the fun of finding cool car stuff, generally. You know, in the, in the, back in the old days, I'd be coming here looking for sponsorship, trying to get, make relationships with companies to try to get products to make videos on, but learned that not really my bag 
I'm much better finding products and writing my own script rather than having to work for somebody, and, you know, gaining sponsorship. Here's my beloved Kaiser. Love it. So this was always my my chase, right? I wanted an Air Tower Five. Air Tower, five, that's the Air Tower Seven and a Half. Fully integrated dryer. Operates at like at like 62 dB or something like that. Low 60s. Super efficient. The problem is it doesn't work for what we do. So Toyota is taking over the Ford spot. Now we're gonna come down on the other side of Central. It's spread out a whole lot more than years past, probably because they have the extra haul. But it, um, this is where all the cool car stuff is. Brembo, Bill Stein, all that kind of stuff. So we'll walk this and then we'll go to our where we belong, which is in West. Yeah, okay, give me that one yeah, too. That one I like this thing. <laughs> yeah, that one won the... Well, uh, I'm also looking at the the possibility, you know, you would use this for, we, you know, coat. Yeah. D-nib tires and all that kind of, yeah, D -nib, D -nib, yeah. All that. Um, service rotations. Uh, all, you know, what, what have you, right? So, That's pretty sweet, yeah. Thank you, I appreciate that. I love that. This one won the new product award in 19. Okay. And then um, got us to the launch pad top five last year. So we introduced, people asked, why do you, like, what do you use if you don't have a lift? Because not everybody has a lift. Yeah. And that's our answer. It's the tire jet. That's our tire cart. That's our I don't normally pay attention to the cars, but this is sick. Although, you know, I wouldn't want turbo, but K-Swap, turbo, Electron Blue, Prelude. Pretty cool. There's my seats. Working our way through Central, you know, the last couple of laps, and then we'll go over to West and start digging into detailing stuff. Nothing super exciting over here. This is all the car modification stuff. Nothing I'm really looking at. We talked to the KW guys for a little while, but yeah, they're just more aggressive than Brembo. Yeah, oh yeah, we were. Yeah, this is what we needed, Helen. I think that would be a little bit more practical than the big boy. Sure. You know, I think this one's like 80,000, 85,000, something like that. <laughs> but, they, you know, they do remote support and all that. I think that'd be super cool. Because I don't think I could fit this sucker in the, uh, yeah. 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 That's cool. For the price of a GT4, you can <laughs> get it done. All right, we're back in the central, whatever you call this area, and then we're heading through north over to the new West Hall to go check out all the detailing stuff. All right, walking into the new West Hall. This is cool. Everything's brand new. So this is where all the detailing stuff is and all kinds of other car stuff. I wonder if it's the garage stuff too over here. Yeah, this is a new version of the car capsule. I like this. It just seems less bulky, more contoured to the car. I like that. Lots of talking about this one. Well, yeah, without the Corvette, of course. Take the Corvette off. And then they have a red one. Mm. I do like that. I guess it would, yeah, it would stay, it would stay up, right? Because it has the. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. And this is, it helps with the backing plate sitting on yeah. there and you're not being able to bump into door handles and other yeah, areas. Sure. I like and that it's safer. Yeah, and then also right. being able to pull the pad off with this reinforced edge, sure. it makes it much easier to get an immediate centering from your backing plate yeah. and also easier to pull it off as well. Yeah. There's just so many different benefits to this style and this profile that nobody's touched yet. Yeah. And that's that's one thing I like about working with Buff and Chine and Rich, the owner. I don't know if you ever had a chance to meet Rich. Hey, Rich. He's the How you doing, Matt? Nice to meet you. Um, but he's, you know, with him being in the game for so long and, and developing these pads at the level he has and being one of the people on the forefront of bringing foam 
and buffing pads to the industry since 87. Yeah. You know, obviously there's other players in the game, but he's really made a huge splash and impact over the years, and he's still continuing to do it with these types of designs. And having, you know, active shop owners as demo team members, you know, we listen get real to all the detailers, yeah. yeah, and being part of obviously with Ronnie's group and the mafia, we're getting real world feedback on this stuff. Yeah, and he's hearing it and making these changes almost immediately. It's cool. I like that a lot. Is it out yeah, here? I'm trying to talk him into making yeah. this new attachment they have without the bottle. Put that in your jar. Is this an industrial style butt deodorizer? You know. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I think it. I think it is. So we would also need the option to be able to put a, a Euro High Flow plug on it. That's something we're already talking about. It looks really darn good. I just need it in a standalone handle. So we want that. But we do need to get this. I think I would use that often. Especially with our new vacuum setup. We need to figure out a way to do this on the, on the site. I wonder if we could just install... You know, if we can install some sort of, yeah. Because the problem is that it would have to drop ship. Because you need too many colors. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's something special about this booth, right? So I probably should say something. And then I had to do my whole spiel, right? Hey, guys, anyway, the Rag Company, the HLR75 beta kit was just launched on the RagCompany.com, which is going to include two batteries and a charging station, as well as some compounds, some pads, and some microfiber towels to get you started. Toss the towels, get some of ours, and enjoy three inch polishing. Until it's very best. Are you born something with that like pitch, that. or have you worked yeah. on that pitch? <laughs> <laughs> I just say I usually anything, don't breathe. It just sounds like he wrote it already. Yeah, I think he, he practices in the mirror. I know it. Yeah. I know it's it. It's the black fuzzy speed, thing, right? I really like it. I can relate. I can relate. <laughs> the pack, packages of pads individually okay. and the five packs. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do that for sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll reach out and get that going. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. I need that for my door handles. That's the main thing. Door handles. Yeah. Underneath spoilers. All that kind of, sure. all kinds of funky place. Yeah. How much is this retail? You know? You know what the retail? Okay. 300 bucks. Love it. Makes your PXC80. And it only works on the PXC80. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. And so you use it for that machine. And then for all your behind your door handles and the cracks and crevices, yeah. freaking awesome. Instead of trying to do it by hand. Okay. And what color does what? What's cutting versus polishing? You could feel That's cutting. I always yeah. to tell yeah. people to go by feel because yeah. it's not always the color. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so cut, polish, finish. Right. Okay, yeah. So I apologize. I'm new to yeah. detailing and everything. What are you cutting? What are you cutting? Well, I say cutting. What I mean is the. It's, a, it's a, like the deeper scratches you see. Yeah. If you use this pad on it, yeah. you yeah. wouldn't get it as much. Well, it's on it. Straight for getting all the little details, you know, around the door handles. Yep, that's what I need it for. Door handles are the most noticeable part on your whole darn car. You walk up to it every day. Yeah, yeah. Very little tilt. Beautiful. 300 bucks. We're going to have these in the store shortly. We're trying to get through the detailing section. It's not going so well. We were rolling. We did the first six miles and had uh, three hauls, two and a half hauls done in no time. And now we're, now we're uh, <laughs> getting hung up. But uh, we'll get through it. Yeah. We'll come back and hang out, and I'll get a lot of product-specific stuff, anything new, um, and uh, we'll dig in and have you know have the guys tour us. So that'll probably be day two video, so we'll get into that stuff. But we're uh, we're about halfway through the West Hall, and then I'd like to. Uh, what time is it? I'm thinking after lunch we'll have to get through South. Yeah, I don't think we'll do any of the outdoor stuff here today, so um, we'll probably do that tomorrow morning. Run through that. But we'll keep working through this. This is always fun to get through all the detailing stuff. And then you, know, you see all kinds of people that you haven't seen in a long time. So it's fun. Hey, what's up, man? Nice to see you. Fat boy, this is for me. <laughs> it's so, it really is. It makes a big difference. Oh, oh yeah. I like it. I got to come back and get some better footage here when I'm... Uh, and we're not in the first first uh, first throws, but oh yeah, I like that. And then we got Creeper, new Creeper. We'll have Alex give us a tour here tomorrow when we get into the product specific stuff. And then that's the uh, the height adjuster. Why do we not have that? 
just too many products and just haven't gotten it done yet. Yeah, so this one's a the quick height. Yeah. Yep. Um, so you drop it down like that and then to lift it up, you just lift yep. up just like that. Yeah, so we just hadn't gotten it yet. We didn't get them, get them in the store yet. Looks like you got to talk to the Yeah. So we're on V3 of ExoShield. Uh, we're trying to talk Martin into, I'm sure he's, he'll watch this, we're going to talk, talk Martin into getting a shop so that way we can get ExoShield and that way I can get all my windshields protected and um, no more rock chips, that's the key. So like I said, I'll go and get all kinds of footage tomorrow of all the, all the stuff. We'll have, um, we'll have people take us through the different booths, but um, Flex, we just did, you know, Grios and uh, Viper Chair and all the detailing stuff here is in West Hall, super fun. But we'll, uh, I'll have some video on this. This thing is freaking awesome. So I have one at the house. I've been uh, polishing the uh, E36 with it. Super, super good. And then I really like, I'm sort of torn because I really like the pads. I like the, um, the new um, microfiber cutting pads. They're pretty nice. So we're just running through, catching up with our, no one, no one realized that Tommy was from their great state of Idaho. He's from Boise as well. So we're uh, working through. We'll avoid that booth right there, and we're just gonna keep walking. So we'll come back and see the Kush Kimmy guys. I'm gonna hang out. All right, we're leaving West, which is the new one. We just finished that up, and we're headed to um, uh, where are we going to South. So we got a, another mile to go. Looking for the garage stuff. Yeah, you're gonna go find all the garage cabinets and all that. I just give Tommy a little taste of what I've been saying for years, that this stuff is freaking junk. Not the tools, I'm, but yeah, the cabinets. I'm shocked. And this is what all the shop guys, they all dream of having this, because they don't know any better. Like, Sonic is like... Go ahead, man. I don't know. Yeah, you're good. Sonic <laughs> is like in a completely different class. I told you. Like, Sonic has like 3D, like both sides. Like, there's a panel on the front and the back, and then this yeah. is just like single-sided. Yep. Why anyone would buy this is, is, is they've lost their freaking mind. It's garbage. I have to make sure to check these out. New Gear Nitrile, like reusable gloves. That could be cool for doing coatings and stuff like that. Yeah. Pro Works Protective Wear, that's the company. Pro Works. Yeah. I'll have to check that out. Take a look at these as well. So we're just kind of working our way through the new products area. Nothing really super interesting to us. Running through this at the end of the South Hall. Let's add this to the list. Make sure we go check out the Bit Bar. Maybe they can make us like something really big to hold our yeah, exactly. master collection. Ernst Manufacturing. Yeah, we'll check that out. I'm sure we'll walk by them, but those are the kind of things you can miss. This Tool Wrangler stuff, I need to check that out for our Milwaukee stuff. Mm. Like in Milwaukee, inside of yeah, um, yeah. Sonic Uppers, or the what's our thingy, the big, the big storage thing I got. Oh, lever. Lever rack, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we're at the Skanker booth, just digging in, just looking around at stuff. We've always got cool stuff to work through. It's a max. Dim it down, it blinks once, and now you know it's a minimum. Cool. So that's uh, I'm losing you a little light. As you can see, it's, it's pretty bright. Really. Yeah. Now, oh, cool. it, it's, it has more lumens and it's stepless. That's basically, and then we design. And then you have the battery, separate supplemental yeah. battery pack. Say so, yeah. Supplemental yeah. battery pack. Supplemental battery pack, you can plug it in and it'll actually run off it. Yeah. As opposed to the, the old lights, you couldn't charge and run at the same time. Right. And this one here, it actually fits on the headband, you know? Yep. So you put it on the back of the headband, plug it in, and then it'll last all day because this is this is just one big battery. Yep. Uh, in addition to the battery that's already in there. Sweet. So that's that's a pretty neat uh, little thing as well. These ones are sold separately and they retail for thirty nine for the battery pack. Nice. So there's our glove solution. So we're gonna reach out and we're gonna get all different types of gloves, both semi permanent and permanent type or, or disposable. I mean to uh, figure out a, a glove solution to offer. Do you or could you do something for all of them? I'm a product designer. Okay. What, do I, what should I design? Something to hold bottles, so a couple chemicals. Uh, something that can hold maybe a polisher, towels, and brushes. Oh, nice. Or we have a couple of wheel bags. 
that you know, they have the vertical pockets in here, but all of our pockets come out. So you can put bottles in there. Huh. I don't know if the polish will fit in there. Yeah, yeah. Where the deal with this? Yeah. So these are interesting. Right, yeah, they will. What I need to do is send them the, I keep threatening, I keep telling them I'm going to send them the whole thing, you know, the whole master collection. It's because I keep changing it. So once I get into organizing it inside of the, um, the lev rack, we'll, we'll send it to them. The only advantage of that type is you can pick it up and take it with you, you know, when you have your sockets. So we're in the middle of tool, tool nexus. Love it. There's our lever rack buddies. Go we'll see them. I'll come back here um, in the next few days. We'll make some videos on all the different cabinets and stuff. And we'll get you some uh, closer look. Right now, I'm just processing Haley cabinets. So we were just talking with uh, Cameron from Haley about the possibility of, you know, these are Canadian made. They're made in Calgary. And um, as we go to Canada, maybe these become our Canadian line of cabinets. And then they just become an extra, you know, line of cabinets for people who like these. I don't want to retail too much, yeah. But we these are really nice. Selected. They are very nice. All right, it's about five o'clock. We're going to dinner with uh, Mike, who is our rep for uh, for PSP and Blue Sound and all that stuff. So we uh, we got to go um, back to the room, just collect ourselves for a minute, go jump in a car. Uh, we're what? What are we about? 13 miles in today. 12, yeah, 12 miles. We'll be at 13 by the time we yeah, get. Easy. Yeah, 11.6 right now. Yeah, we're 11.6 miles in. We talked to Haley. We talked to Fiac. We're uh, we're gonna come back up here tomorrow. Really dig into the tools and uh, we'll talk to Milwaukee guys. And um, yeah, we got a lot to do. A lot to do over the next couple of days. We'll get up early. We'll probably hit it at seven first thing in the yep. morning. Come uh, and then we'll do Apex on Wednesday. But. Uh, we're gonna go have some dinner and uh, maybe I'll wrap the video up later, but we're in South Hall now and we gotta go back to back through Central and then over to uh, Yeah, all the way back to, to Westgate. All right, everyone. That's a wrap on day one I'll get into some more detail tomorrow When I go and um, I'll take the camera with me We'll start to dig into some detailing products. We'll tell other guys take us through what's new We'll dig into some of the garage products. Man, apparently I'm kind of losing my voice from a long day. But we walked about 14 miles, tried to go to dinner. So I guess one negative about staying here so closely is it's darn near impossible to go out to dinner. But anyway, I wanted to eat steak. One steak every day was my goal when I ate freaking pizza because we couldn't get a steak. We tried a bunch of places. But anyway, that's day one. I'll see you on day two. Mm -hmm.